What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and today I want to talk to you guys about a prison riot that just took place last Thursday in Kansas at a prison called Lansing Correctional Facility. I don't know anything about this prison in Kansas so I did a little bit of research on this facility and learned that this is an ancient aliens type of a prison. Not really anything like that. It's an old prison. This thing was first opened back in like 18 something. And if you're serving time in a prison that was built in the 1800s, well, you got to imagine that's a pretty old damn prison. Hopefully, they've at least got some AC up in there. Probably could have done a little bit better trying to make a joke about that. Missed the mark completely. Trust me, hopefully. We're going to do a lot better in this video as we do a little bit of a reaction to a video that's circulating all over the internet about this prison riot that just recently took place. Now again... I don't know anything about this prison and everything that I've learned. I've learned from either news stories or doing research about this facility. And if anybody knows anything about this place, if you've served time there or know somebody who has, and I've got any information wrong, please comment down below and let us know. But while doing research on this facility, it says that it's a medium maximum minimum. So from that, it seems like they house all prisoners there. And I think I also read that this prison holds something like 2,400 prisoners. That's a damn big prison. Also, completely off subject, but to mention this as well, I hope we're able to get through this video because currently outside as I'm filming this, we've got like 30 mile an hour wind gust upwards of even more than that. And we've got some pretty damn bad storms going on as well. I'm hoping that we don't lose power during this. I just had to go outside and fix a whole bunch of fence that I had just recently fixed that fell down. And with that, it's pretty obvious that I didn't have a damn idea or clue what the hell I was doing trying to do these fence repairs in the first place. But neither here nor there. Let's continue with everything that we're getting ready to share in this video. As we begin, I want to pose a question to all of you. For those of you who have served time, have you ever been in a prison riot? And for those of you who have never served time, what would you do or what do you think you would do if a prison riot took place and you were serving time. Let's knock on something that's not wood and hopefully nobody will ever have to end up serving time. But if you did, you know, what do you think you would do during a prison riot? Now, I can speak for myself and tell you guys, I've never been in a prison riot. I've definitely seen an all out war take place up inside of a jail cell block, every prisoner in there except for me, attacking one prisoner who was in there from New York all over a damn lunch tray. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I felt bad for that dude from New York. It was like 10 plus people jumping on this dude because he was telling the guard that he didn't get no lunch tray and the guard told him, we put that tray up in there. It's not our fault you didn't get it. You better figure out where your lunch tray went. And as soon as the guard left, the entire cell block jumped on this dude. It was damn sad. Dudes will fight in jail and prison behind anything. Even a damn sweat meat cold cut lunch tray. But again, what would you do during a prison riot? Would you partake in the activities? I mean, everybody else is joining in. Why not? Or would you try to sit back, try to play the cut and not get involved in that at all? And I know there's got to be at least one person. One person, right? I mean, at least one person. Wondering, Joe, what would you do if you were ever in a prison riot? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not doing nothing. Or at least I'm going to try not to. I'm not trying to run my time up, run my level. Well, unless, I got to take that back. Unless it's behind something that I feel is a valid reason to be engaging in that. And a prison riot can happen for any type of reasons. Whether we're talking about some sort of, you know, gang wars or racial tensions. Or as it seems in the case with this Lansing Correctional Facility in Kansas. It was definitely in retaliation and in rebellion to the current state of affairs that we're dealing with with this current pandemic sickness crisis. But as I hope you're going to see in this, even in a situation like this where prisoners feel they've got a reason to be destroying the entire damn prison, not all prisoners seem to be partaking in the activities. So let's go ahead and roll this beautiful bean footage and see what we can together make of all of this. We're gonna start this video all over the place, not from the beginning, but where we're starting this video at, there was a, a place that I was trying to start from. Uh, you can see prisoners who are walking around, they're masked up, it looks like there's some smoke, maybe they've got a fire up inside of the prison, and they're up inside of the guard's office, some sort of counselor's office, and look at what they are doing. 
just destroying this place. Most of the prisoners that they're showing in this video are masked up. They've got either bandanas tied around their face or something trying to, or, or t-shirts, something trying to conceal their identity. And it makes me wonder, are they masked up because of the fact that they're not trying to get sick? Or are they masked up because they're not trying to have their face on video? Because isn't it crazy to think about this? Like, out here in the world, let's say you're in Walmart and, you know, something happens that causes you to want to react in such a way. Maybe you get in a pissing match with somebody, start arguing. You got to imagine as soon as you turn around, everybody's going to have their phone up recording you. It's crazy to think that even in prison, this type of stuff is happening. So they might have cameras up inside of the prison that they're trying to make sure that they can't be seen who they are on those cameras. But they also know that prisoners, and from this video in particular, and all of these other videos about this particular riot, showcase that a lot of prisoners up inside this facility got access to cell phones. Because everybody is recording and there's all these videos. Here we go. Here we go. Let's take a look at this genius right here though. I'm going to be honest with you, this is downright disturbing. You've got a couple of individuals in here not practicing any type of social distancing, but yet mentioning we need some social distancing up in this mf -er. And then you've got this one dude right here who's pulling the mask right off of his face, and we can see you right there. We know exactly who you are, and if we don't, you better bet that the damn staff does. But what I'm gathering from this is these dudes are making like a mockery of this situation. We need some social distance. I get it. And I mean, everybody should get it. You're seeing it all over the news these days. You know, there's a lot of situations that are taking place in all jails and prisons throughout our country and probably throughout the world as well with this sickness getting up inside of these facilities. But I want to ask another question, and that is, do you honestly think that this riot, this protest, that there's so many videos of this circulating all over the internet. Do you honestly think this is going to do anything to help improve these guys' situation? You know, in my state here in Virginia, our governor, he's been going live every single day. I'm sure in a lot of states, a lot of governors might be doing that. Maybe they're not. But one thing that our governor is doing, and I thought that this was pretty good, is anybody who's got a year or less and is nonviolent, they're trying to get those people out of jail and prison to help try to... I don't know, alleviate some of the mass incarceration during what's going on right now? And who knows, maybe it took a worldwide pandemic to see even more prison reform. But in this particular case, destroying the offices of people who work at this facility, whether guards, counselors, unit managers, any other form of staff, this ain't going to do nothing. This ain't going to do nothing to help benefit your situation. And you're sitting here on a Facebook Live, Instagram story, or whatever you're doing. Talk about you need some damn social distancing up in there. You about to get it. You about to get it. Because they asses, I guarantee, right now as I'm filming this video and potentially the next day when you guys are watching it, they ass is locked down for real. This is how we can do it. I ain't nothing up. I'm just, oh, just trying to make shit happen, man. You know, this young man raises a valid point with his entire identity and face fully exposed. He says, I'm not doing anything. I'm not, I'm not messing anything up. We're just trying to make shit happen. Meanwhile, the entire wing of this prison is engulfed in smoke. Windows are getting destroyed. Offices as well. I'm not sure it's in this video. Actually, I don't think it is. There was another video that I saw of this prison riot where a prisoner was running around flaunting. I mean, this dude was stunting with his prison fashion. A guard's uniform jacket. A guard's jacket. That's damn near an attempted escape charge. You get caught with a guard's jacket, that's gonna be a contraband charge you ain't trying to catch right there. And this dude was all over one of these videos, flaunting that money like he just got him a fresh Gucci. So 
Such vulgar language is being used in this video. I hope my facial reaction is enough. And that beautiful YouTube friendly music that we just used, I hope that really does justice trying to convey just how messed up this situation really is and the fact that we really can't be airing the audio of what these guys are talking about. So many curse words and so many N-bombs. We can't be airing any of that. Now, I read a story in relation to this prison riot as to why this prison riot potentially happened. And it was because of the fact that they were going on lockdown. And I'm guessing it's because of this sickness. They do have confirmed cases up inside of this prison, you know, right now. And I believe they were trying to lock down the prison. And at around 3 p.m. on Thursday, that's when all hell seemed to break loose. And they said that it was something like 100 to 150 prisoners who partook in all of this craziness. As we watch this, let me see if I can find... Oh, God, that office is destroyed. Who's going to clean that up? I want to stop with this image right here. This is not the greatest example that I wanted to use, but I think it's the best one that we're going to find in this video. Again, there's tons of these videos and different videos about this particular prison riot. You guys have probably seen these for yourself. I know people were posting on the After Prison Show fan page about this, possibly even wanting us to address this in a video. And we actually did address this like Friday. I think we addressed this the day after this happened on the Bobo. They're about to show you one dude walking around with the guard's jacket on. Where the fuck is he at? Everybody's showing their face. They're all going to get freaking uh, sanctioned for this one. This is over with. Now look, what's interesting about this is not all of the cells are open. And every time I stop it, it gets super blurry. So just keep that in mind. As they're walking by, you're gonna see cells that are closed. You're gonna see sheets that are tied up, like as a, some sort of a privacy curtain. This dude right here, he seems to be the ringleader. He's walking around showing the tour of this place. There's dude with the guard's jacket on. Can we run, roll that back one more time for me, Steve? Yeah, uh, look at this guy. This guy's got that young NBA walk. Look at this dude right here. He's got the f guard jacket on. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's on that Bobo, twitch.tv backslash after prison show where things get a lot more explicit. But getting back to this, nice little plug for the Bobo right there for anybody who might not be checking that out. The one thing that I'm trying to showcase with this picture is you can see, kind of, that there are cells that are locked. Now in other videos that I've watched, and again, I don't think they show it in this one, You've got dudes walking by with their phones, running up on other dudes with their phones. Hey, you got a cell phone up in here too, though. And you showing your whole face like I'm showing my face. We going down after this. As they were walking by certain cells that were locked, prisoners had sheets tied up, like closed for business. We're not partaking in this prison riot activity. And then they were walking by other cells where you could see prisoners who were locked in their cells. And I don't know if they were locked in their cells unintentionally or they just ended up getting locked in their cells or maybe they closed them gates themselves. But it's something like that that really showcases that even when shit hits the fan up inside of a prison, not all prisoners are gonna be down for that type of stuff, which could potentially lead to problems for you. You know, there may be certain cases when an uprising is gonna take place and all prisoners gotta be on board with that. Now. Even though I ain't never been in no prison riot, I have been a part of certain protests, or at least seen certain protests that have taken place. Like where prisoners are not gonna go to rec, not gonna go to school, not gonna go to their jobs. And I can't remember what this was behind. As a matter of fact, I think it was because they weren't getting rec. Yeah, that's what it was. They weren't getting rec. Now that I think about this even more, I've, I've shared this before. This took place in another housing unit. I was in building three, this took place in building two. Prisoners in building two were not getting wrecked. They had done something, one prisoner had messed it up for everybody, and because they weren't getting wrecked, they were bucking. All the prisoners were sitting in the day room, they weren't going back to their bed areas, and the prison did not take too kindly to this. What they ended up doing, I remember seeing this through the little slit window that we had at the back of our building, they brought a bus. They rode the bus right down through the rec yard and backed that joint up right to the back door. And they loaded prisoners up in that bus and shipped their ass off to a major. And you know, the thought of getting in trouble during a prison riot and potentially ending up at a higher level, more dangerous prison, that could be a more scary thought than actually partaking in the, the protests or the sit down or, or the uprising altogether. Man, I got three months left. I'm not about to go down with these dudes. They still got years left to serve. What you mean we bucking? 
I got a release date. I go home in 90 days. A lot of prisoners got shipped off Indian Creek when that happened. And I know for a fact, without knowing, there had to be some scared dudes up on that bus going to a level three, four. A lot of smoke, a lot of people running around, a lot of chaos. I'll tell you the interesting thing about this particular riot. You're not really seeing any violence or any prison guards. Where the hell are the guards at? Obviously, it seems like no guards really wanted to interfere with this situation. Maybe they thought that could actually lead to the violence. You don't see any prisoners who are beating each other up. You really see... However many prisoners it was, they mentioned 100 to 150 prisoners, all coming together for one common goal, to raise awareness for social distancing and to completely <laughs> up, or in YouTube friendly terms, destroy the place. But what's interesting about all of this, I mean, there's a lot of things that are interesting, but one thing you know that I think about is, you got all these different videos circulating about this same event from different angles, different contraband phones. How come I haven't seen any videos of when the guards actually do come up in there? Because one thing we can guarantee without knowing is the guards eventually did have to come up in there and shut that <laughs> Damn, Negan is here. And Lucille is ready to eat. Yeah, I mean, this is all, you know, fine and dandy. I don't condone this at all. You know, they're completely destroying the prison. Who's going to clean that up? Prisoners are going to clean that up. How long are they going to stay on lockdown for this event? You know, it's one thing to have a prison riot and to, and to destroy the place, but it's another thing for that to be blasted all over the internet. Everybody's got access to this video, and pretty much everybody, unless you've been living under a rock or sheltering in place a little too tough, have probably seen bits and pieces of these videos. And real quick, let me just share this news story that I ran across about this story that says inmates riot at Kansas prison. At least 100 prisoners were rioting. Authorities say trouble started at the Lansing Correctional Facility around 3 p.m. Thursday after several inmates refused a lockdown order. The situation went downhill from there. I'd say so. By Thursday evening, some 100 to 150 inmates were damaging offices and equipments. Some were seen on video destroying prison property. That's a street charge right there. You know, y'all worried about not being able to social distance or or about this. These dudes need to be worried about the bigger picture and that's the fact that your release date is guaranteed to change now. Maybe some of those were in similar situations like, boy, that was a tongue twister. Like what's going on here in Virginia. Under a year, nonviolent could have potentially got out. That's done done. Change is definitely about to be coming down the pike out there in Kansas. It remains unclear what may have prompted the crisis and I love this part, and prison officials were just preparing to pass out coronavirus masks that had been made by inmates. Officials reported 14 staff and 12 inmates have confirmed cases of the COVID at the Lansing prison. They were just getting ready to pass y'all out the masks. But judging from what we've seen in the video, it seemed like, you know, the prisoners are, are making do just fine creating their own masks out of bandanas and t-shirts. But the reason I wanted to share that story with you guys is because the comments to this story, folks, they're pretty insane. Let me just share a couple of these comments with you guys. A guy by the name of Jimbo Peep, not really sure if that's his real name or not, says it's time to break out the riot guns and the double op buckshot out. Don't submit to orders, shoot to thrill. And I didn't really mean to say the word thrill right there, but something that rhymes with it. I wonder if this person is a correctional officer, or maybe just somebody in general who does not really seem to like prisoners all that much. You know, no matter what you may think of this video that we've been kind of looking at in this video, prisoners are people too. And if they feel like they're being treated unfairly, unjustly, inhumanely, shit like this, it's gonna happen. Jason says a show of force is in order, and that's actually a good point, Jason, because it doesn't seem like there were any guards in sight. Where was the force at? And how come when it finally did come up in there, none of that was recorded? They got the gun. The beam that gun. Oh, shit. Blonde Fire, again, I'm not sure if this is this person's real name or not, says surely they have a large pack of hungry Dobermans on standby for such an occasion? My God. These people got some twisted ways of thinking about things. But I want to wrap this up with what I consider the best comment on this news story. And... Let's add a little humor to this, and this is damn funny. But Charles said, or Charlie said, if stupid could fly, 
you would be a jet. <laughs> You're really stupid, according to Charlie. And it actually reminds me of something that a guy said to a, and he didn't say it to a guard. He wasn't built like that. But he said it about a certain guard. They were doing count time and they, you know, you ever been locked up and they're doing count and then recount and then recount and then recount because they can't get the count right? Well, we were going through a situation like that one time and this guy that was standing up next to me said something along the lines about a certain guard. He said, you know, that guard is so dumb that if you put his brain up inside of a bird, that bitch would fly backwards. Damn! That's pretty dumb right there. Folks, I just wanted to share this little reaction video with you guys and this bit of prison news that's circulating all over the internet right now. I'm curious to know what you guys think of this situation. Do you think these prisoners were justified to do what they did? Do you feel compassionate toward these prisoners? Or do you feel a certain type of way because they're destroying the place that they've put themselves in for the most part. Most of them have done that. Some of them might not deserve to be there, but for the most part, we can probably guarantee most of them do. I'll go ahead and wrap this up like Jerry Springer with the final thought. I know it's a messed up situation up inside of jails and prisons right now. It is, it's bad. And there isn't much social distancing, cleanliness, masks, ways to protect yourself from getting sick. And if this sickness does break out up inside of jails and prisons, which it is definitely doing right now, it's gonna spread like wildfire. And even in places where they're not dealing with the outbreaks, or maybe they are, this is a scary time to be locked up. People are scared out here in the free world and incarcerated. So on one hand, I understand the need to rebel, the need to try to raise awareness, attention. But on the other hand, I don't honestly feel like what these guys have done in this situation is going to do much good for them at all. Yeah, a lot of people have seen these videos, but in all likelihood, they probably only succeeded in making their bad situation even worse. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about it. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace!